before we get started, I saw this in my Twitter timeline, which this morning, which really caught my attention. Did you see this? Okay, getting iOS Safari to not scroll to focused inputs is tricky, but it's possible. All you have to do is get MBI become CEO of Silo, run Silo into the ground, and transfer Silo.com domain name to your website. Okay, so it looks like we are looking at the source code of WebKit. Yeah, right. And I was like, "What the heck?" And then I found oh, wow. this GitHub link. <laughs> And so there is this file called, I have no idea what's going on. I just saw this this morning and I, I wanted to show it to you. Quirks.cpp. So already, <coughs> I've, worked with so, I've worked with some people in the past who wouldn't let me, you know, in a pull request, wouldn't let me create a file named quirks.cpp. But all right. And then you see there is all these should auto display. So, it almost looks like, you know, Bing and YouTube. So it looks like, I hope I'm wrong, that depending <laughs> on your domain name, you have different browser capabilities. Man, I wish my apps were so, my, and my websites were so huge that not I have to fix the bug, but actually the browser fixes the bug for me. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's wow. how... That's like uh, next level web development. Wow, that is indeed crazy. Definitely not like a sustainable solution for long, but I guess to temporarily fix the user experience. Yes. Apple is going long ways and in a way that um, does not like correspond to coding standards that most people <laughs> would propose. <laughs> That's so strange. I would never... Do you imagine as a software developer, you make a pull request and you say, where you add such a special cases or if the domain name is, then do this. Like, speaking of a hack, that's like, doesn't get more hack even this, but... Amazing. Well, I thought that WebKit, surely it must be very clean, very, very well thought through completely generic because, of course, so many eyes are on it because it's open source. The it's politics like of it must be insane, right? They <laughs> indeed must be. But um, it's refreshing to see that they are also hackers. Yeah, right. And I'm um, just looking at the git blame, but add back forward cash <laughs> work for me, <laughs> But then that must be funny. I, w I wonder if there are some web developers who are trying to build some features and they were inspired by, you know, maybe the behavior in Figma or vmail.com and then <laughs> they couldn't get it to work properly and they were wondering, how do they do it? And then just because maybe there's this built-in behavior, especially for this website, and then you, you go crazy because the feature, let's say, works in one website and you just cannot reproduce it because you don't have uh, your website within this quirks.cpp file. I wow. don't know. You know, actually, I see that the the timestamps, it's like all, the most of the changes were done like approximately a year ago and I think that's when they announced that on the iPad you have full desktop class browsing. So it might be that Apple has just <laughs> hacked their way into announcing desktop class browsing on the iPad. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, so ulu.com gets stuck in a loading state when seeking. <laughs> <laughs> Quirks needs, can play after seek a quirk. And then if domain is ulu. And uh, no, you're probably right. And um, so then I wonder if, so maybe Apple needs to push these quirks and then maybe I assume they are non-Apple contributors. Maybe they go crazy when they see stuff like that uh, because, you know, it's your baby and you see such hacks. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. I wanted to <laughs> share it with you. Indeed. Wow. And these now guys are 10x hackers. <laughs> I, I feel, it always feels so good when you see big companies doing the exact same types of hacks that as uh, small developers would do as well. Um, That's so true. Feel relieved. 
that's so true. Sometimes I make pull requests which are a bit hacky, but nothing to this level. And I really feel bad that I didn't get to the elegant solution yet. And indeed, this is, you can always find hackier than you. So, yeah.